Hi everyone. In this clip, we'll be going over the basic interface of the Divinity Engine 2 editor. Now, uh, let's go over what we have here. So the first thing is our viewport, right? Which is our, you know, our basic scene. We can middle mouse, click and drag to rotate. We can use WAST or the arrow keys to pan or move around. And uh, we use left click to select our objects. And we can also drag select. Inside our scene, currently, we have a basic terrain. Um, we have, not sure what this character is for. I think it's just for sizing, so it's just a dummy character. And then it looks like we have some start locations for different characters, which are basically just trigger scripts. And then we also have a light probe, which allows some of our shadows and highlights to look more co correct inside of the scene. Over here to the right, is our world outliner, which basically shows all the different objects we currently have placed on the scene, with the exception of our terrain, it looks like. Um, we can uh, do a couple different things here. We can add layers um, in order to group objects together. And then over here, we also have filters. So for example, if we don't wanna see any of these triggers, we can unclick that, and now it doesn't show any of those. We can also run a search to grab certain specific items in the scene. Over here is just a preview window, an asset preview. So for example, if we select this character, this dummy character, we can look at them in asset preview and uh, we can use left click to rotate and right click to zoom in and out. Um, not much over here. Uh, there's different view options we can talk about later. Down here is gonna be our log, which really helps with debugging. So it'll show you if there's something that's not compiling quite right or is building incorrectly. Um, this is very helpful to make sure that, you know, your everything is looking correct. Um, down here, this is a really useful uh, bar. This is our uh, resource manager. So it shows us kind of how much of this max resources we've used up. So obviously the closer we get to filling it up, the slower or more tasking our scene gets. Um, over here, we have a sidebar, which basically just shows us properties of our current selection, All right? Pretty simple, um, not, much, not much to it. Over here on the left-hand side, we have two different bars. We have the mode bar, which switches our current control from selection to translation, to rotation, to scale, et cetera. And then there are a few uh, kind of customized tools after that. We can also, uh, access those by using the num key so one is going to be select two is going to be translate three is rotate four is scale and then five is going to be the placement tool um, this is going to be the um, shape bounds and then this one we doesn't look like we can access with the shortcut key so all right and then after that we also have different ways to view the scene so we can view uh this uh, normal light uh, lit mode, and then we have wireframe, texel density, etc. Um, here at the top, we have some shortcuts to just basic tools, basic commands in the game. You know, switching camera view, undo, redo, save, up, uh, load, and then we have uh, a few different editors. Now these are going to be useful, and we'll go over them a lot. Um, you know, here's our terrain panel, um, and uh, there's a lot of different things here, AI, a material editor, uh, and we'll go over this as we go along. The last thing we want to go over is this root templates, and this is basically the items we're able to place in the scene. So if you notice, we can place, you know, um, normal object, but there's there's things other than just, you know, static meshes that we can drop in our scene. So if we actually take out all of these, we can isolate and just find items of certain types. So for example, if we just wanted to find um, light types, look, we've got a, uh, we just placed it right there. So let's select it. And then I'm gonna hit J to get closer to it. And it looks like it's some type of light probe. Or no, it's just a, a, um, a light that emanates. So there's just different different types of things here. So we can find prefabricated objects. All right, there's a boat, etc. 
All right, uh, so that's going to be it for our interface. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next clip.